Holy shit, this is chewed. This is insane. So much stuff right there. Well, I think he just said his bike blew up. I heard it from up there though. What an eventful 50 feet of trail was right here. It's definitely making clangity bangandies. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for today. We're back out here at the riding park. We got our buddy Sebastian. He brought his friend out, Luke. We're gonna go ahead and head out and do some enduro trails. Let's get into it. All right, we're chasing Luke down on his, I don't even know what bike he's on. Just that it's a two stroke. He was keeping a pretty quick pace right off the rip and I was not ready or warmed up to get into it this quick. He's trying not to get roosted, but it's so dusty. Feeling pretty stoked with myself though right off the rip that I was able to keep up with this 250 two stroke. Go ahead, we'll let Sebastian hop into the lead here for a bit and chase him down. Oh, I'll try not to catch a face full of rocks. These damn two strokes and trigger happy kids are just throwing rocks all in your face as soon as you get up close to them and they just lay on the throttle. So you gotta watch out for those things coming flying to dry balls. I keep looking down in anticipation of rocks coming flying. This is great. I'm really enjoying riding with these guys because they're really just like pushing me to ride faster and be a better rider and it's exciting because they're not like lazy riders. It's like some of the people I've gone out with, they're just not, the energy's not there. You know, these guys are just ready to rock and roll. Big old spray coming from Sebastian. Woo! Out of respect, I'm just not gonna show this, but. That was fucking close. That was really close. Now honestly, this is just like me pushing myself a little bit too hard here and it prematurely screwed me up by just like having my muscles be way too tight, way too quick off the rip and it made it really hard for the rest of the day to like relax my muscles as they were just so tense after this. Woo. But I'm still pretty impressed from the KLX on 4 to be able to keep up, you know, it definitely took everything out of me to keep up with a 252 stroke kind of cruising. These guys are quick. Which is I guess why we're gonna end up building the KLX in the next couple episodes coming out. It's gonna be sick. No idea what's here. At this point, I'm just blindly following here behind Luke, just trying to keep up, keep a good pace so Sebastian doesn't ride up on my ass. Okay, I got loosen the hand. Tight in here. Woo! Flying in here. Then it starts getting rough in here and then my muscles are already catching up to me first trail that we're into. And honestly, it's only gonna get harder, rougher, rootier, gnarlier, more rutted out from last weekend's race that happened through here. Then we're gonna be a little sneaky snack and pass on Luke here. And we're all gonna take a break now. And off we are back in the chase. Let's get after it. Let's chase him down again. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm hurting. I'm hurting a little bit right now. Just kind of surviving right now. Yep, yep, you are. You're just hanging on along for the ride. They're kind of just dragging you places and you're just gonna go. Okay, well that definitely gives me some instant muscle cramps trying to race up that like a bunch of a-holes. And now we're getting onto the A main course. Uh, this thing is absolutely tore up from the race that happened here. So let's just try and get into it. Rudy hell in here. I do believe we're on the A line race course. When everyone stops on the trail like this, it's not good. You want to go right? A lot of people spinning in one spot. Oh, we getting a much higher today, baby. Holy, those are some roots. Well, sorry, Luke. See you later. I don't want your spray in the face, Boydy. I'll just spray you instead. Hell yeah. And then it's gonna be like this for the whole rest of the way. There's really not that much traction. It's really slimy slick, lots of roots, lots of tight V notches and everything trying to grab and hug you. 
but I tell you what, this was a whole lot of fun and I will be back here. Man, she's rutted out in here. Luke comes up and sneaks the pass while I'm getting dickered around by these damn trees. And now we're gonna get into a sloppy ass Joe mess. Great muddy, dirty, rooty, all the mud slipping and sliding. Wow, everything is so damn chewed up. <sighs> Sorry, I had to hit it with the momentum I had. Failed attempt on the pass. <sighs> Almost time to puke. <laughs> yep, I'm feeling it. Fuck you. Goddamn carburetors. <laughs> Carb got flooded after sitting on an angle for a while while we were sitting there trying not to throw up. Retreat! Come on, baby. Almost there. A little more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Backing up. Should catch up to these fuckers. Holy, this stuff is so chewed up. Just like there's a whole bunch of A riders or something in here. Ha, huh, more like a bunch of B riders who felt like A riders and tore the thing the hell up and made it a mess. Slide off the bridge here, get totally hung up. Just like, fuck me, god damn it. Super stuck here, so slimy. Just let her friggin' eat wide open. At this point, I don't care, I'm done. Get me out of here, stop sliding. I just wanna get the hell out and relax and breathe so I don't friggin' choke and die on my puke. How you doing? I'm fucking great, I just couldn't get it started. She is fucking chewed in here. tell this is where like 30 riders have been in here just spinning chewing up getting stuck behind one another because there's just so many tore up loose loots loose roots roots loose what the hell am i saying holy shit this is chewed this is insane Right now I'm thinking to myself, what the hell did I get myself into? Wild boys. It is just mud soup in there. Wow. This is insane. Okay, I think we're gonna go across. Not for this. Yeah, let's go. Holy. Some muddy stuff right there. It's a fucking long way down right there. Holy fuck. Thanks, bud. Okay, that's better. And at this point, we are pretty much going to be right into the raw dogness of this stuff. This is where it's going to be the most rough, tough, slippery, slimy, and pretty freaking awesome. It was honestly a lot of fun and I definitely would like to go back and finish the rest of these trails, but sooner than later, things are going to go south. Woo! That was a good one. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, oh. oh, boys. Oh, 
boys is right. We got this dang piece of mud stuck to the screen uh, up until he blows up his engine. So let's just fast forward to when that happens and then resume from there. Now we're about to come up to the hill that is the hill that ends it all. Now it screws me over. We go through this huge deep mud puddle. This hill is a nightmare. Oh man, I got some fucking dead ass fingers. We're gonna go up this hill and uh, this hill's gonna screw me up. I don't know how, if you guys can tell with the mud in the screen, but this hill is absolutely brutal. And honestly, I just got so focused on getting up. I'm pretty sure it's he's blown up sitting beside me right now. And I didn't even notice. I just kept going. I just was like, screw it. I'm going for this. I'm, I'm gone. I'm going. See you later. I don't know. I was just focused on getting up this damn hill. And then I spat my goddamn chain. Fuck. Did you just take your chain off? Yep, right here. Yeah. You got tools? Yeah, I got tools. I should be able to just. You just got one body with you? Uh, there's two down there. Good day. Hey? Good day. Yeah, it's a fucking good day. It's fucking rooted out. Well, I think he just said his bike blew up. Absolutely, man. I just blew the wrong direction. Did you? Oh, it's time for rebuild. Now I don't know how to get the fuck out of here. <sighs> well, it's all downhill from here, which is nice, right? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. The one day I didn't bring my fucking, like, shoestring. We pulled last buddy out on. I don't know how I would have blown it up. I mean, I kind of do. I just didn't know it changed last night. Were you just beating on her pretty good right here? No. I mean, she's not tinging and pinging like it's smoking hot. I heard it from up there though. That's yeah. Odd. Yeah. Fuck, eh? Same thing. I just spat my chain there and then fucking kerpow. Okay, so you're done too. I, I just put it back on okay. and got to the top, but. I can't remember what's after this. I might be turning around. I don't think you're going up. Well, it looks like Seabass blew his bike up. I just spat my chain right here. What an eventful 50 feet of trail it was right here. Oh, poor Seabass. I wonder how he's even going to get through these mud sections. Where the fuck did he even go? I guess he's riding it. Even though it's blowing up, it's definitely making clangity bangandies. It'll be a really hard, long ride to get out without an engine from here. Now what? Yeah. He was able to coast all the water. way to here. Get a little bit of energy going. Yeah. I'll try not to cover you. Oh, no problem. Nothing to it. You just keep going. I got your shit. Oh, dude, you're good. Sure. Push your fucking heavy ass bike. No, I got. Nope, nope, nope. nope. You, you're good, good buddy. Just fucking push your heavy bike. All right. Okay, it's not a steel frame. So <laughs> All right, I got an extra helmet on my back and a double backpack on the front of me. Real question is gonna be getting them across the river and up one of the big ass hill climbs. I'm trying to get a dead ass bike through. This is also very hard to balance riding down with a backpack on my chest and a helmet on my bag. All right, so we just finished pushing him up here and up this next mountain top. Now we need to hope that this is the trail that takes us out of here so we don't have to push him up some other giant hill like the one we just rode up. Because a dead bike's a heavy bike. You know? Oh. Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah, as well as we today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she goes, she, this shit happens. It goes like this sometimes. Oh, yeah. No rod bearings, screw tire. <laughs> yeah, this is just uh, neutral, neutral talk Tuesday. <laughs> this is what an electric bike would sound like, I guess. Well, as you guys can see, we made it out to a road, so at least we we're able to get him back to the truck. Just might be taking a while, but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.